Good morning everybody. How's everybody doing today? My name is Tin Can and this is Beer Not Included. Today I thought I'd show you a little game I call Muddy Water. It's basically a high or low game. Um, object, object of the game is to try to get all five of the cards. Everybody gets dealt five cards face down with an end cup at the end of or in the middle of the the table. You can play with as many people you know as you have cards which is pretty cool. But basically lay down five cards everybody gets five cards face down and you have one dealer which I'll be the dealer today so you can just follow along on the screen um, as we play along. If you need to pause it to take a drink or to pour you know that's not a problem. Um, we can work that out but basically I'm going to be laying down one card and you have to guess whether it's higher or lower and then you flip your card up the first card up if the card is if you're correct then you get to pour into the cup that's all the way to the right of your screen if you're incorrect then the dealer lays down another card on top of the card you just flipped up that you guessed wrong. Object of the game is to get all the way to the end so that you don't have to drink whatever's in the cup. Thing is, every time you guess wrong, you get a card laid face down on the card you just flipped up, and you also have to take a drink. But if you guess right, you get to pour as much as you like inside the cup. And once you're eliminated by getting rid of all your cards, then play still keeps going until there's one person left with cards on the table. He's the one that has to drink whatever's in the cup. That's why it's kind of called muddy water because different people drink different types of beer. It's better with beer rather than someone drinking liquor and then somebody drinking, you know, snaps, somebody drinking beer, somebody drinking you know vodka and putting it all in one cup so if everybody can agree on you know a type of beer to drink or beer to pour in the cup that's the way we used to play it even though it might not have been the same type of beer but it was beer rather than trying to mix it with snops and beer and yeah it gets it gets pretty nasty so I'm gonna do a quick you know demonstration and we'll see how it goes so basically the first card that would, well, we'll lay down an extra set of five cards. How does that sound? So we can, we'll basically simulate two people playing the game. Okay, can everybody see those cards? Yeah. Alright, so the dealer would lay down the first card. And the way this game goes, before I get started, the way this game goes is aces are wild pretty much. They can either be high or low. So if the dealer flips up an ace, you're going to be right no matter what. So you can say high or low. If you flip over an ace, then you're automatically correct. And then the play goes, you pour, and then the next player goes. So here we go. First card down is a three. So that means that player one would have to guess if it's higher or lower. So he'll guess higher. He's right, he gets to pour. So he's right. So that means he gets to pour into the cup. Now player two goes. And he's going to guess, and he's going to say higher. Ooh, he's wrong. So that would mean that player two would get a card placed over, and he's got to start all the way back from the beginning again. And the play keeps going until everybody plays off this three card. And then the other would lay down another card the seven so from there seven he would say it's lower Ooh, he would be wrong so he would have to take a drink now it goes back to player two he's gonna say higher Ooh, he's wrong so he would take a drink now we flip up another card. 
a five. Okay, so now player one would go again, higher than a five. He would say higher. And he's correct, so that way he gets to pour into the cup. Now player two would go, and he's going to also say higher. Whoops, wrong card. He's going to say higher. Ooh, he matched, which is also a fail. If you match, it's a fail. So he gets to flip over, has to put down another card and take a drink. Now we go back to player one with the queen. And from there he's going to say, yes, it's lower than a queen, which is correct. So he gets to pour into the cup. Now for player two, he's going to also say it's lower than a queen. You've got to be kidding me. Thank God I'm not player two. He's wrong. So he gets a card flipped up. And then we go on to the second. A king. Which means that he's going to say that it's lower than a king. And he's correct. So he gets to pour into the cup. Now it's player two's turn. He's also going to say it's lower than a king. And holy cow, he gets to pour into the cup. Now at this stage of the game, since he's losing by a landslide he's not going to pour a lot in that cup because he's already chances are going to be the one that's going to have to drink whatever's in that cup so then we lay down another card and that's also a queen now if player one guesses this correctly he gets to pour and the game is over so let's see he's going to say it's lower than a queen and it's a jack, so he would get to pour into the cup. So that means that player two is going to have to drink whatever's in this cup. Okay, and I'm going to be right back with you, and I'm going to start dealing out the cards. And I want you to lay down your cards, deal out your cards, five of them, face down to all the players in the game. I'll be the dealer. You just follow the cards as I lay them down and I'll probably do about 10 cards I think 10 cards should be good enough well then nah, we'll do a little bit more than that I'll lay down a little bit more than that now that I'm thinking about it but I'll be right back with you if you just deal your cards out five down and I'll be right back with you okay I'm back now would be a good time to pause the video, go into the fridge, get yourself a six pack, get a couple beers, that way you know you've got plenty to pour, plenty to drink, and we'll get started. As long as everybody has their five cards face down, we'll get started. On the first card. Now everybody's going to play off this card, and if you need to pause the game to catch up, or you need to pause the game to drink, um, or to pour, or to grab another beer. Um, that's perfectly fine, but here we go. We'll get started on this. Give them a good quick shuffle. And here we go. First card up. Player one guesses either if it's uh, higher or lower. Puts a card on top of his if he guesses wrong. Give it a few seconds. Second card, four spades, ten of diamonds, let's zoom in a little bit, there we go, that might be a little bit better, ten of diamonds. Nine of hearts. Jack of hearts. Queen of clubs. Four of hearts.
Six of diamonds. Five of hearts. Jack of clubs. Jack of diamonds. Seven of spades. Nine of spades. Eight of spades. Ten of hearts. Ten of clubs. Six of clubs. Queen of hearts. Seven of clubs. Three of hearts. Three of diamonds. And five of diamonds. Ace of clubs. Four of clubs. Four of diamonds. Two of clubs. King of hearts. Six of spades. Ace of hearts. There's a wild. Eight of hearts. Queen of Diamonds. Seven of Diamonds. Three of Spades. Eight of Clubs. Just a couple more cards to go. Nine of clubs. Nine of diamonds. Ace of diamonds. Queen of spades. Eight of diamonds. King of spades. Two of diamonds. There's a good one. Seven of hearts. Five of clubs.
two of spades. Three of clubs. Ten of spades. Queen of spades. Or jack of spades. I'm sorry. King of clubs. Six of hearts. Three to go. King of diamonds. Two of hearts. And the ace of spades. Now the way this game can work is after you get done whoever finishes the game he's out if the last man standing still has cards on the on the board before the end of all the cards I just dealt out then he can take then he's got to take whatever's in the cup and then you guys can continue from where the game the game ends and start a new game or you can just start back from the beginning of the video and start the game all over again that way you can also add extra cards if you want so you could actually have 10 cards 15 cards depending on how many people are playing the game and if you like this game if you have any questions on how to play it any more questions or something I didn't I'm not too clear about um just leave a message in the comment box below and hope you all enjoyed it please subscribe share this video with your friends and i'll see y'all on the flip side bye Ooh, and before i forget if the game's going if the cards are going a little bit too slow on the video you can always fast forward it hit you know double the speed or triple the speed um just that way you're not waiting for the next card. Um, that's all I've got. So see y'all on the flip side. Mm, bye.